Oh, sorry guys, I'm uh, working on a new intro here. Chicken here, bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, I wanted to uh, I wanted to talk about uh, the barbed wire, uh, where exactly we've been at with that, and um, what we can kind of uh, like what we can kind of see from it since it's been around for a while now, and uh, just kind of how everyone's feeling about it and stuff. So, and we're also going to get into a live operation attack. Brack, brack, brack. <clears throat> so. Uh, we, 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 uh, we're doing choke point today, and we got a pretty mean dioxin, so we're going to go over that first, guys. Uh, so where are we right here? So we'll start off with this one. And dioxin is just, it's really tough for 10 men because it's not that it has so much health, but it's just such an, a, a tough base to solo. So you see here, there's just so many mines and everything in the way. And, uh, like, just the spacing of everything makes it, uh, makes it super difficult. So... We're going to uh, we're going to see how Nick at Night uh, does this here, guys. <clears throat> He's one of our better players, so this was a pretty exciting attack for sure. Uh, you see the the path that he takes here. After he it, like it just takes like a massive amount of GBE, right? <clears throat> so the path that he takes here is um, I guess it's pretty standard. I'm not too familiar with Dioxin, so this one's kind of new to me. But um, You've seen me fail it before, and it's just like, because it's just such a snake trail to actually get them up there. Uh, it's kind of tough. But uh, yeah, as far as the barbed wire stuff goes, guys, um, like I've kind of touched on it before, but I wanted to get it out all my thoughts in an actual video. Um, I'm, I like it. I, th I think it's good. Um, because because what they did right was they they tried to nerf Zookas in operations and open it up for everything else more. Uh, with uh, with implementing the barbed wire and um, and by uh, lowering the building health of everything, but what they actually did, but when they lowered the building health, they just made it easier for Zookas, right? Which we all knew was going to happen. Um, so we'll just show the dioxin attack here before I get into uh, before I get into mine. <clears throat> but um, uh, but yeah, it's just like it it, it they. They didn't like make it that much harder for Zookas. They didn't make it uh, that much easier either because the barbed wire is a tough thing to get around. But I mean, it only takes, uh, as of right now, it only takes one shock or one med kit and like maybe an extra smoke um, for the time delay. I don't even think it needs that actually now that I think of it because I haven't attacked it too much myself. I've just seen other people go through it. But um, like that's basically where it's at right now. Like all the operations have been made easier because of the lower building health. And, um, like, sure, the barbed wire is tough to get around in some specific instances, but, I mean, it's it, it's it's far from a, a complete nerf to using Zookas in operations. Like, if anything, they're easier now. So, I mean, uh, definitely let me know what you guys think of, uh, uh, what you think of the barbed wire down in the comments. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's been a good thing overall. I mean, uh, it's, it's new, it's exciting. Uh, there's, like... Not necessarily new attacks, but like just the same attacks we would normally do, but just different ways of doing it, right? So I don't know. I think it's just cool to see. It's a new feature. Uh, it's definitely not a full-on nerf to Zookas. Um, they'd have to do something like pretty dramatic to do that, guys. So we got Skull here. I'm not sure if I uh, if I showed you any of his attacks um, yesterday when he joined, but he's an awesome player. Um, he's probably the best guy in the task force right now, uh, as, as far as Zuka attacks go. So you see, so you see they basically all do the same thing, but they can only get so many shots off before they, uh, like before they get touched up by something, right? Because they just, there's just too many things in range on the core here, like the mortars, the rockets, the other rockets, the shock launcher, uh, it's, it's just too much stuff. So you actually can get all four of those mortars in once, which you guys have obviously seen. Um, <clears throat> that that's the hardest shock I think um, on this base. I, I think that's the hardest part of dioxin is is getting that shock down. But I mean, we did it in three attacks, which isn't it's it, it's not bad. We probably could have done it in two uh, if we did everything perfectly. But I mean, that's not uh, that's not terrible. So I'm gonna be taking on conveyor here. And you see the chicken has actually got some notes up, guys. So I'm trying to I'm trying to take this a little more seriously than I normally would. But um, yeah, so basically my plan is uh, shock at. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm gonna have to uh, clear out some mines first. We have an extra attack if this uh, if this does end up going badly. But um, basically, I'm gonna try to. Uh, 
Am I going to walk through the cannons, guys, or over here? If I walk... I think I can walk through the cannons and the machine guns. And um, then I can just use one barrage. And maybe I'll, I'll uh, throw an artillery on that mine. And I, I want to get right up here between the flamethrowers and the rocket launchers. And then I'm going to need uh, four shocks. So I'm going to need one shock on the flames. One, two. One shock there. Uh, third shock here. And then fourth shock over here. Um, I don't think I'll need any critters or anything. Um, I'm, I'm going to uh, throw my shocks out first just so I have to make sure that I have enough GBE. Alrighty guys, so here we go. Here we go. Boosting on up. We're just boosting on up here with the chicken. Brr 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 brr. Alrighty. See, so yeah, I'm hoping this goes well. I'm hoping this goes well. I haven't had, um, I haven't had like a difficult operation attack in a while. Um, I've kind of just been uh, squeaking on by, unboosted. So, hopefully we can uh, we can make up for that with this one, guys. Alrighty, so here we go. Here we go. Now we're gonna have to two smoke the landing, but that's okay. <clears throat> All right, here we actually go. Rack, 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 diving on in. Alrighty, so first we're gonna uh, we're gonna barrage out uh, these guys, and I'm hoping to get that top boom mine, which we did. Good, perfect. And I think that that's all we need, guys. I think that's that's all we need. Um, so I'm gonna flare down uh, right about here in front of these cannons, and then I'm gonna have to two smoke the landing, hopefully. Back, back, back. All right, that's okay. They uh, <clears throat> they didn't exactly uh, fly out where the chicken wanted them to, guys. But that's all right. That's all right. Okay, so we're gonna throw another smoke there. I'm gonna flare up right here. Careful, careful, careful. All right, now stay under one smoke. Wait, wait, what's going on? Oh my god, I flared onto the cannon somehow. Are you kidding me? Whatever, that's fine. Uh, as long as we have enough for four shocks, we should be okay, guys. Should be okay. Uh, I'm going to flare up right there. Bang, bang. Alright, we should be clear of those mines. We should be clear of those mines on the front of the core. Oh, maybe not. Alright, that's okay, that's okay. We're fine, we're fine. Uh, okay, so one, two, three, four. Critters out, health kit down. Uh, apparently the machine guns are touching us up. Well... So much for that, guys. I'm not sure exactly. Uh, well, I know exactly what happened. We stepped on. Uh, <sighs> uh, well, it's, it's been a while since we had a good, good old hashtag chicken fail. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed that one. That, that, that was that was pretty bad. So, <clears throat> so where it all went wrong, guys? Where it all went wrong? Somehow I flared onto that cannon at the start, and that just freak that just threw all my friggin' focus, all the like all the good uh, vibes we had going into it, guys, just right out right out the friggin' window. Um, yeah, that I, I I don't understand. Like, does it make the it it has to make the make the circle when I flare onto it next, right? I d I must have just missed it, or like like I didn't think I was that close. Oh, for freak's sakes, I flared right onto the damn thing. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna, uh, that's, that's gonna do us in there, guys. Um, I don't think I lost too, too many after that. Um, I know we hit, we hit these mines, and we, we lost a, f oh, yeah, yeah, we lost a, uh, we lost a, we lost a fair bit there, too. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that, that's alright, guys, it happens, it happens, um, one, two, three, four. So we, we got the shocks out okay. We got the shocks out okay. Uh, so pretty horrible overall. I'd give that like a like a two out of ten on the hashtag chicken fail scale. Uh, so that kind of sucks because I actually did like I know it doesn't look like it. I actually did like scout that out and know like more or less exactly what I wanted to do with it. But um, but yeah, since that um, since that took a little longer or a little uh, a little shorter than I would like. Uh, we'll do one player base here before we wrap up the video, guys. Um, and we'll try to make up for that uh, for that operation attack if uh, Jimmy could get offline there. Back, back, back. All right, so we're diving on into Blue Water Stevens, guys. Blue Water Stevens. Alrighty. So hopefully we can make up uh, for that poor, poor mine walk. And 
So I, I was talking with someone in the comments the other day, and, and they asked me why I have the troop health, and, th and this is exactly why, guys, because I'm uh, very prone, I guess, to, to stepping on mines with my Zookas, um, not only in operations, but in player bases as well. So it, it's really nice to have that little safety net of um, the 35 troop health or whatever it is exactly. Um, because that's going to allow me to step on like a couple more mines than usual or like maybe uh, or maybe uh, like tank a, a rocket launcher firing a little earlier than I expected. Um, the, the whole point of going 5-5 five, five, and by 5-5 five, five, I mean 5 GB and 5 damage is if your attack is perfect right so so if you if you're prone to attacking sometimes like the chicken then it's not necessarily a great thing to go 5 gb and 5 damage because it's um like it doesn't leave you any room for error that's the whole idea where's the other shock uh, shock launcher um but yeah like there's 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 no room for error when you go five five. It's like you make you slip up once, you miss one shock too late, and like I I, I understand that um, people that go five five are probably like doing higher level operations where if you slip up, like you're probably going to be roasted with the zookas regardless. But um, I don't know for player base and stuff. It's just nice to have that little um, that little kind of safety net in the troop health. But uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the uh, for the video today, I guess, guys. Um, make sure to let me know down in the comments um, what you guys feel about the the barbed wire, how that's played out uh, in your task force so far at all levels, like uh, a high level, uh, low level. Because I know it's been in uh, it's been in operations like Mambo and stuff lately too. So so let me know how you guys have been dealing with that. And uh, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Oh. <laughs> Whoa!